You're listening to the Slurmcast, a podcast for no reason. Today we will be discussing Tom and Mine's failure at Futurama Trivia a few weeks ago at Yuzu in uh, Lakewood, Ohio. Pete wasn't there. Uh, he couldn't be there. Not that it would have been the biggest help, but he's definitely paid attention to the episodes we've done so far. Um, we came in there thinking we were going to represent. There was maybe, I don't know, how many people would you say doing the trivia, like 40 or 50 or something like that altogether? Probably like a dozen teams or so. Yeah, I would and, say um, like a dozen teams. We thought, you know, if, if, if we didn't win and like demolish everyone else, we thought we'd at least, um, you know, place. And that didn't happen. Uh, a couple, we were at a table with a couple of former guests there and also on our team and then at another table. And, um, uh, you know, the other table of, of people we knew pretty much did the same as we did. There were 50 questions. We got about four of them wrong. And um, it was it was a little humiliating. I think I think the lead that you're bearing here is that this is another bonus content episode, not filler bonus content. Well, it's not episode related. It's not. It's Futurama related. Our voicemails weren't episode related either, but that was also bonus content. Uh, I'm glad that I wasn't there to wallow in your shame directly. I am also glad that you kept me appraised of your progress and then failure so I could chastise you remotely from the comfort of my couch. That's why we did it. You can take all the blame. Why we did what? Kept Pete apprised. Oh. I thought I could coach you. He would have been no help. I just thought between Tom and I and former guest Sean Burns was on our team, I thought uh, there's just no way we would have missed any of them. Like, because I'm not familiar with, not very familiar with the later the seasons after the movies. Um, you know, Sean is a little bit, but, you know, same as me. But Tom's got all that stuff down. I just thought the, and honestly, the, the, I, the whole quiz was just seasons one through four, wasn't it? Well, I, like, I don't know. There were some later questions. I don't remember. I, mean, I think either all of it was. Or I have most to see the was. answer sheet to see if there's any. Well, so anyways, we're going to go through the questions and quiz Pete on them. And just, you know, see how it goes and kind of uh, mention the ones that we missed and, you know, why. I, I just, I think your future on hubris really did you in. Well, here's, let me say one thing before we read the questions. Well, okay, we have the answer, so I'm going to kind of read the questions. I'm going to reverse engineer them the best I can. Um, one thing I realized when we lost was that, like, I'm, you know, I'm a nerd. I'm, I'm nerdy about a lot of stuff. It's Star Trek. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, other franchises. and Memes. Uh, that's not really something you can be nerdy about. I, I'm certain it is something that you can be. Okay, I guess you could be nerdy about everything. I wouldn't say I'm nerdy about memes. I don't know. No, you're, like, you're, real, you're real cool culture about You're in real that. cool about memes, Rick. You're real cool. Yeah, see, that's, yeah, I'm like uh, the James Dean of memes. James <laughs> memes. Um, I, uh, <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what are you memeing about? What do you got? Oh, um, that was Marlon Brando. What? How, how really? about um? How about Shit. we start? Why don't you give me like the first five yeah, and see how I do? All right. Okay. So, <clears throat> what was the name of? Oh, by the way, these are, I'm gonna. There's titles to these sections. There was you know sections, and then we took a break and whatever. It wasn't not the most organized, but it was it was all right. I mean, whatever. I've never done a trivia, uh, or hosted a trivia. Um. All right. The first You're about to the first yeah. title is uh. Of of the our category or um, uh, section is called "Here's to Another Lousy Millennium." Okay, what was the name on the pizza box um, that well, Fry got the? Uh, I the see fake? Wiener. Yeah. Okay. Number next. two, what was the name of the amusement park on the moon that they went to? Uh, I gave you half of the answer. Moonland. Hold on, I'm passing the questions to Tom. We're doing the first five? No, it's the first, whatever, the section eight or something like that. I don't know. Um, this state is constantly dumped on in Futurama. New Jersey. Uh, Wait, did you say the second one? Did you get it? I said Moonland. No, you're no. wrong. Okay, it was that's Lu- fine. Luna Park. All right, whatever. What's the third one? What It's state? New Jersey. Okay. I already it's con- yeah. yeah. Uh, number four. Uh, 
Professor Fonsworth Worth invented this device uh, that shot rainbows out of its eyes, and Mom wanted to make it 30 feet tall uh, and shoot lasers. Oh, crap. Was it the laser kitten or something? Yeah, you can see it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's... A, it's QT McWhiskers. That's fine. I okay. wouldn't remember that if Tom didn't reference it all the time. Mm. What was the name of the uh, ray that... Uh, Professor Fonsworth. Is this one of the ones we got wrong? The the F-ray. Yes. And we got this wrong because I was outvoted by you and Sean. I had, we put F-ray and then scratched it out. And then what did we write? And you wrote Z-ray because Sean was sure it was Z-ray. Just because of the zap guns. No, I thought you said Z-ray and then we said F-ray. All right. uh, I have a feeling that if we try and do this for all 50 questions, it's going to be real long and real boring for the listeners. That's true. So let's go, let's skip to a few. Let's of do the, like uh, the first, first of every group. Um, Unless you listeners want to be bored. This one is about um, the names. Uh, like Le- what is Leela's pet's name? Nibbler. What's the robot that looks like Bender only with a. Flexo. Yes. Um, the name of Fry's dog. We have not gotten to that episode yet. Oh, so, shit. Uh, Seymour? That is right. Good job. Um, and then there was... It's called Death to Snoo Snoo is the next category. I, I, they kind of went in order of... Almost order of... Uh, like was this from quiz the beginning put together by two. stoners? I don't know who put together this. And we're trying to answer or ask these questions about as well as the person running the trivia was asking them. It was very, some of these were like long drawn out questions and a little bit confusing. Yeah. The thing about the questions was that there was like, somebody wrote a whole paragraph out, um, of it, it would be like, let's let's say Seymour, uh, in the episode Jurassic Bark, um, Fry finds his dog. Uh, it, it would, there would be like a little mislead in each paragraph. It would be like Fry finds his dog, um, um, and Bender can go down and get him out of the thing because he's half. And then you think that's the answer. He's like Dolomite or whatever it is, 20% or whatever. Uh, and then gets to the end. And then finally he's like, what was the name of the dog? Even I, That's not a good example, but there are I, ones. I'm you know. even more confused. So like, I'm saying that now. the guy would talk for three or four sentences and then ask the question after you like, and you just kind of like, so basically hard to pay attention he was, instead of just asking the questions. He was just really kind of gobbling up stage time mm-hmm. and basking in his glory as a trivia host. Yeah. That seems kind of whack, but whatever. What else you got for me, Tom? We can go to one that we got wrong, but I don't remember what the question is. We <laughs> answered it wrong, obviously. It was a number. We guessed. The, the answer was three, but I don't remember what the... Oh God, we wrote three down, or what did we... Yeah, we wrote three, but it wasn't right. It was oh, like how many it. of something... Oh, how many uh, hearts does Zoidberg have? I bet that was Was that, that. it? I think that was it. Yeah. yeah. How would you even know that he has three hearts? Uh, one we haven't. Got, we haven't got to we the haven't episode. Been in yet. Yeah. Okay. So you great. would know that. I but we ignorance. got that wrong. I think it's four. Okay. Uh, what year did the first movie come out? The uh, Bender's big, big score. score. Uh, twenty ten. That's what we guessed, and it was wrong. Okay. And then in the hundredth episode of Futurama, they de- they de- have to deliver something. It's their hundredth delivery. And they deliver something. And what it is, what is it? And it's... I have no idea. It's a souffle. We haven't got to that episode yet either. Yeah, so... Did we get that one? Is that one of the ones we missed? Yes. We got that run wrong. It was a souffle. And then what is the name of um, Hermes' son? Oh, uh, Dwight. Right. We got that wrong. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known that except for the episode that we're recording this week. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched that episode yet. What episode are we doing? <laughs> the route of all, the root of all evil. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I haven't this, watched it either. This seems like it would have been... I mean, was there palpable tension in the air at Yuzu as this was going on, or, or what was... It was pretty relaxed. How did, how did this work? Did you have to go through all of them, and then they, like... 
How would they do the answers? We had an intermission. No, no, no. no. Would it be like they ask the question, then everybody answers, then it's pencils down, and then nope. they tell you the answer? No, they hand you hand it in when it's all done, and the guy that running trivia graded them all. And then also, uh, Tom's girlfriend said she noticed there was uh, in the middle of it. She's like, "There's a table where these guys are using their phones the whole time." Those guys won. That seems like some straight up bullshit. They might have been te- like doing something else. Doesn't necessarily. Be- I was taking videos the whole time or whatever, so I had my phone out. I mean, you know, I uh, I find this dubious. Number one, ample opportunity for cheating. Number two, just the inefficiency of the way this whole thing seems to have been run is driving me crazy. Like it really just getting hand graded. It's, oh. Oh, um, the last question, I think it was, or. Vampire State Building? No, no, no. Uh, let me see that uh, list real quick. I forgot to mention about this. This, is, this was a heated thing between me and Sean during this. Oh, I thought uh, it was the Did it come thing. to fisticuffs? No, no, no. It, I, I got very mad because I thought I was right. Uh, it was what year, when Fry was frozen, what year did he get unfrozen? Oh, that's what it was? Oh, then you were right about the F, right? That's the one that we got. Yes. Wrong. Okay. He's frozen in 1999. Yes. So he would have woken up in 1,909. No, that is 1999. 2,999.99? 29.99, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. A year before 3,000. Yes. That's correct. For some reason, I was sure that it was 3,000. And I was like, I am so sure. And he goes, no, I am sure. And it was like, I was like, fine, fine. I, like, I ended well, because up giving he, in. It because, was New Year's Eve. But we, so when he woke up, it was still New Year's Eve. Yeah, and then it turned into reason, the year 3000. For some reason, I didn't even uh, like, think about that. It's like one of those order of operations problems that people post on Facebook and go, post the answer once you have it. And then people argue about it forever and during this horse was just hiding under the table because he was afraid yeah i don't like it when mom and dad fight right yeah i got mm -hmm, pretty scared but as as far as what one of the things that like the amount of breaks that we took Mm -hmm. it ample time to go check on your answers previous oh that too yeah when we like like, because we we took more than one break didn't we yeah or at least one yeah there was one or two I mean, I guess you could do that at any trivia where there's a there's a break, but like, you know, oh, you know what it was? He didn't collect uh, them. Every other trivia I've been to, the last like ten questions, take the sheet. The last ten questions, take the sheet, take a break. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Where that yeah. we had the sheet the whole time. So like in between each one, could have absolutely gone and checked. And that we, that actually not, is... none of us did. But so you know. I'm not gonna say that these guys who won. I'm well, and that we don't know. You know, I'm I'm assuming they were all guys. Were they all guys? It was like two guys, right? It was. It, it ended up in a tie for first. Like both two teams got like one wrong. Were there any women involved? Or no, in any of the teams, teams that were in contention wrong. for first place? Yes, there were. Yes, yes. What are it you was, getting at? There was one. It was like I think a guy and a girl, and then two guys. It was like okay. those were the two teams, and and, and one alligator. I'm. Honestly, shocked. Not that women can't be good at trivia, just that I figure most wouldn't waste their time uh, doing this to that level of uh, minutia. You'd be surprised. What, wasting their time cheating? or Well, no, not cheating. Lots of women cheat. Oh. I just mean... Doing the trivia? I, no, I, I'm, I'm trying to find a way to word this because I don't mean to be denigrating or anything. I think women are smart and great and awesome at all kinds of things. I think barroom trivia about sci-fi cartoons almost reeks of, you know, nerddom. Yeah, which there are. I'm alienating That's, like a good chunk of our listeners. We just lost a bunch right of now. female listeners. I, like, like I how said, Star Wars no, is for boys. No, 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 no. It's not that the enthusiasm isn't there. It's the. Well, what am I trying to say? Because it's not like I. I know I'm well aware of the fact that I'm not saying this right. Like so, anybody who's getting offended. I don't mean insult or offense by that. I'm just trying to just find come a way out to word and say this. it. No, I, it's not because it's it's. I'm trying to find the way to say this. It's like we've we've talked about 
a similar phenomenon before. I don't remember in what context, but I think it was like internet message boards in the early days of the internet where it would become like a pissing contest uh-huh. over who knew more minutia and things like that. Like the one upsmanship that it's happens. Minuto. <laughs> It's, you know what I mean? Like the, the one upsmanship of like, well, yeah. The, I mean, it's basically like the mansplaining thing. Well, actually, this one's more rare. And then, like, when you put it that way, I, I, I understand what you're That's what I'm at. getting at. It's like, <coughs> to be like, like, if it was a general, regular. In other words, you're not it, saying if it was a, 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 an event for like, we're having a Futurama event, there would be just as many enthused women I, about no, that. No, no, there wouldn't. I mean, I think I think there is there is a definite skew towards the male in kind of sci-fi culture, for better or for worse. Yeah, or yeah, it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, but I, I agree. What what I mean is like if it was like a general, regular, uh, across the board sort of general knowledge trivia contest, wouldn't think anything of it. When it gets into like super minutia of niche nerd sci-fi things. Mm-hmm. I almost feel like that's where it gets into like a mouth breathing guy thing. I mean, you guys fit in perfect. It, uh, it like easily. wasn't really yeah. that way though. I mean, everyone there was like, I mean, it. I don't know, sixty forty. It was yeah. I mean, I can't wait to see the hate mail I get for this. I still don't think I'm explaining it right. Throwing around words like mouth breather probably isn't helping. It's just, I. Uh, Can you send anthrax through through emails? <laughs> <laughs> like a like an MP3, yeah, <laughs> or a picture of like Scotty. A, it's, it's a binaural anthrax. You have to put it on. You have to make sure you have stereo headphones. And, it's uh, just I'm the man. Would, played over and over and over. Oh would, yeah. Would that be like considered a terrorist act? What sending, <laughs> sending a anthrax, picture, a digital anthrax, through through sending the, a picture, just of a random M, uh, like emails. Oh, it's, it's it's they send you the recipe for anthrax, and then there's just a sign pointing a little drawing of you taking it. Like it, and then it pointing like, and then you put this in your yeah, face. Yeah, like, and I and you're wearing like, a cowboy again, hat. I just feel like I, I need to apologize snazzy. for wording this as awkwardly as possible because we have like former guests that were female that also participated in this thing, mm-hmm. and it's not to say that they're like not smart enough or capable. I feel like is it because Kelly Horchie was there? Is this what it's all about? <laughs> no, 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 no. I it's it's. It's it's like it's going beyond like why would you know that to why would you even want to know that? I think. that was the point I was going to make. That's what I'm trying is, to get. Is to. that when we lost? I was like, no, yeah, and I I didn't finish that thought, and you like kind of just expressed what I was going to okay, say. Okay, after 20 is, minutes of insults, when uh, well, I actually, well, if so, I can get one more out of there real quick. Um, I think the best way to put it would have been to say nothing. No, but uh, <laughs> um, when when it was finished, and I'm like, oh, I I, I was saying, oh, I'm I'm pretty obsessed with the the nerdy things I'm uh, uh, obsessed with. Um, I was like, oh, I for me, I pay pay attention to the like, the narrative of things, the the heart behind it, you know, and I, I'll absorb like, okay, I know that this you know chip is the uh, 107 or 1701C or whatever, and okay. it was in this episode or whatever, but, like, from, from, but, like, I don't care about that stuff. It's nice, I mean, that's fine if that's what somebody's, like, that's in their wheelhouse, that's what, that's what they know, but I, I, let that's not my thing, you know, I don't pay attention to those kind of details, you know, like, I, the way that you guys are, like, gearheads with music oh, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know any yeah, of that yeah, shit, yeah. you know, yeah. but, like, that, that, they're both fine ways of, you know, I mean, like, you appreciate the other side of music, too, but, I mean, you guys also like the, the technical side, I don't, you know. And, 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 I mean, that's, that's maybe the same thing where it's not it's not that I don't encounter women that are that geeky about stuff like that. It's not as often. It's just very very much less common. And and that that's really all I was trying to get at and it's like oh if that blows up it would be amazing. Just what if, like What if it was a Gilmore Girls trivia? I think I'd expect. What would the details I, be? I mean, what I'd would the expect a be? man to be winning that too, not, because there not, would probably be a lot of. And let's just, yeah, obviously, um, you know, there's masculine side and feminine side, and everybody has a little of both or more of one or whatever, and that does not based on your gender. But if the questions were about um, what's the name of the street that so and so lives on in Gilmore Girls or whatever, might 
that's a kind of and not saying that a woman wouldn't win no, that or wouldn't no, win, no, it's no. Like, not saying that a woman couldn't or wouldn't but or shouldn't generally saying that why did you pull me into this now i'm fucking who <laughs> it, like, it, more along the lines of like i was trying to be nice when it I turns, just kept making fun of you when when pissing contests occur mm-hmm. it's usually guys that are involved in them because there's some kind of dumb thing that that predicates that you know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's all. Like, it's just a point of being like, yeah, that, that's great. That's great that you know that. I would like to invite everyone to um, <laughs> uh, digitally <laughs> piss all over Pete through emails and Twitter. Uh, I'm still, I'm still not wording it right. Like 1077 it's, it's, any town lane. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm still not wording it right. It's just... Um, no, I, I don't know. I think you did, did all right. You came around there i, I got what you're I, like saying. It, it's just it it is it has to be viewed and understood through the lens of i i almost feel like the desire to win at a trivia contest like that is trivial and i find or like or believe boards or or believe that most women are above that just by nature of their being better than or men. or if you counted up all the trolls on the internet and I don't know I heard divided them by gender in North Korea they have entire populations where they do nothing but make them do trivia from the beginning of their birth <laughs> to adulthood just to win at trivia contest. The, the trivia so. is about it's, their life? Or? It's, like the, it's like the Russian training camp from Funny Rocky enough Ford. is that all the uh, answers are uh, related to Kim Jong-un. <laughs> all, the, all the answers are. <laughs> yes. Like First man on the moon, Kim Jong-un. We're, oh damn! That rhymed, and now I'm pressured to do another one. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it invented the month of June, Kim Jong Un. Wait, but uh, no, we're not getting into that conversation now. Invented um, that uh, implement for digging a spoon, Dad. Kim Jong Un. I was gonna say something, at, like in the middle. I thought of something because I stopped listening to yeah, you guys because I just while well, we're treading just water, digging yourself deeper, trying to get yourself out. Uh, Something about the trivia. Um, I don't know. We drank now, green slurm drinks. Yeah, they had. Uh, what were those made out of? I don't remember. I, I know don't like apple pucker was involved because it tasted like apple. Yeah, pucker. I don't. I don't like sweet stuff mixed with liquor. And no, I'm not, not really. I don't really drink liquor anymore. I shouldn't say I don't like or like, don't like liquor, but I don't really drink a whole lot of liquor anymore. So, you know. Yeah, not not very much at all, right? Yeah. I mean, but yuzu in Lakewood is. It's a cool place. They have really good food. Yeah, the food is great. I had myself some. So that's uh, where I met my wife. Uh, we're not shitting on this um, trivia night either. No, it was, I think it was those, fun. Those but. trivia oh, guys you know are just independent uh, contractors. I don't know right? if you're going, Tom, but I'm this Wednesday. It'll be way over by now. But two days from now, I'm going up there for Rick and Morty trivia. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, uh, they just had Simpsons trivia. They did something. No, no, Anarchy Simpsons trivia. was at um, Side Quest. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, I thought former it was guest at, George Dunn. Oh, yeah. Great job. I only got to see the beginning of it or or whatever because I had to go somewhere. Like going somewhere with you guys? Not me. What did I do? I don't know. I had to leave. Oh, I remember now what I was going to say. No, I uh, met up with you. We're, remember, I was like, I'm, I'm going to Simpsons Trivia and then I'll see you at blah later? No. Yeah. I asked you the next day and you you said you went for the first round and then you left. But I don't remember. I had to go somewhere. Uh, yeah, no, I... No, no. I, re- I remember what I was going to say. Okay, go for it, Tom. Uh, in doing this trivia, to like, I consider Dungeons my, and Dragons. I had to do that. Okay, go ahead. My knowledge of the show pretty good, and but just being in that uh, time and like the pressure and everything, like I would blank. I would just be like, uh, "That's another thing." That's like, um, like you hear Doug Benson talk about on Doug. Loves yeah, Movie. and it's true though, because when I got to do Doug Loves Minis, I uh, it was uh, Robert Duvall was the actor. Mm-hmm. And I, I did pretty good. I was um, the second last um, person that wasn't Doug. So, like, third place, if you want to yeah. look at it that way. Out of, you know, like, ten people. One comedian, one Doug, Benson, and, um, like, eight dudes or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I got some good ones. I got some, like, random Robert Duvall movies from, like, the 90s that nobody remembers. And uh, when it was over, there was, like, like, nobody said Days of Thunder, not even Doug. Uh, but it's that thing where, like, if, if we were sitting around, the three of us, without so nobody mentioned anything, the shitting tree. 
The Shitting Tree? Is yeah. that from Days of Thunder? No, that's a Robert Duvall movie from the 90s. That's a movie? Sure. What? I'm just making What do you mean, up. sure? Is it funny or it, not? Are you making a gonna, joke or what? I'm is there a gonna, movie called The Shitting Tree? What are, you, no. what are you being vague for? I don't know if there is, but there should be. And I'm trying to think of some other names of possible Robert Duvall movies. He was in... What do you mean, possible Robert Duvall? He was Duvall? in Phenomenon. There, there? Yeah, I said that. That was one of the ones I said that I was and like... And he said Phenomenon earlier. Oh. Do, do you remember that movie? The, yes. when, when John Travolta was riding the wave of Pulp Fiction and just like, <laughs> you know, they're like, oh yeah. And then it took us like 10 years to go, oh, he's he's not very good. So did it turn out to arrow? be a tumor? Wasn't it a tumor and then he died? Who? And what? In that phenomenon. Was that a Scientology movie? later? Remember Michael <laughs> when he was the angel? He was an angel. <laughs> oh, he kept quoting the Beatles. God, that movie was terrible. And he smoked. But he, danced. Well, he was an angel that smoked. He danced, too. Uh, yeah. Slowly. He danced and like Swordfish. Bruce Willis. There was another shitty movie. God, he was in so many bad movies that like I saw and was like, that was pretty good when it, when it came out, but That's, it's not. He just spent the 90s playing Vincent Vega in other <laughs> movies. <laughs> He even and Michael even had like the same hair. He had like a kind of mullet, like the nineties mullet. Did he have the earrings? No, he had like a big He had wings because he was an angel. Yeah, and he put it like a a big uh archangel um coat over it. He had kind of like a he had like that a Richard Lewis brown coat yeah. on or whatever. A trench coat? Yeah. Just, trench uh coat. you know, just to clarify something from a couple minutes ago, when I said I met my wife at Yuzu, anybody who's gonna get um to be a stickler about timelines and things. I met her in the building that Yuzu is now in. It's been like two or three. What was it bars back then? Grafton? Like, it was the Grafton and then it was Bonnie and Clyde's and now it's Yuzu. Uh, we met when it was the Grafton. I just for, you know, just so people don't think I'm retconning my own life. Wasn't it the Grafton street pub? Yep. Yeah. And it was not anywhere. It was near. not on Grafton street. No. Nope. Or in Grafton, which is also it's in Ohio. on Madison Avenue pub. Yes. Township. So uh, all of that being said, now that I've reduced our audience to cinders um, through my thoughtless words. One of the one of the questions, the answer was hyper chicken. You would have gotten that wrong because you kept like saying mega chicken, mega chicken or ultra chicken. Both of those sound acceptable to me. Mega chicken. Was that from Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Possibly. What was the chicken? <laughs> What was it? Remember, it was like a rise, rise. Was it Mega Chicken? I don't know. Oh, fuck. I, you know, uh, I think the lesson to be learned here is that don't get too big for your Futurama britches. It's not even that I was. It's just that, you know, I thought Tom and then at least with, you know, if you blanked on anything, Sean and I would be there to, to pick it up. But. And you all fucked up. Yeah. It's unfortunate. And I still had the gall to call you dummies by a text. Let me ask you guys a question. If you could pick one person to... Ultra Mega Chicken, actually. Is it Ultra Mega Chicken? <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> yes. One person to what? Uh, if you could... All, all three of us are going to answer this. No, I don't know. This might be mean. Uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Um, one person to add to our to the team. I know you weren't there, but pretend you were. And Bill you Squire. Could, okay. It's a tough one, I know, because I'm thinking of like three people right now. Or Sebastian. Mm-hmm. Or Greg Smith. Right. Let one of us answer. Eric Clapton. Eric, Eric Clapton. <laughs> Eric- <laughs> <laughs> you look wonderful tonight. Oh, uh, no. Eric Kaplan, because he was, I'm trying to get him to go, but he had to go see a show that night. Uh, well, I think one of the producers of the show would have been a really good get to have yeah. on the, the Sure, show. <laughs> sure. Um. I would go with uh, Kristen Burns because afterwards she heard all the questions we got wrong and made fun of us and is still making fun of us to this day for We're not getting that is why it. I would not pick her to be on the team because she would get because them all right. she made fun of us. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's valid. I'm trying to think if the, uh, who else. I just don't. I'm really surprised that Kristen would have been Eric interested gave me a in a hug that. and consol- uh, consoled <laughs> me. I just I'm surprised Kristen would have been. Uh, interested in it and then also competitive because everyone knows that that's not a trait for for women folk right it's not, Peter. That's, not <laughs> that's not what that's not what i know I was saying I'm just, I'm just messing with you so it's not even about competition it's just like i i don't know i don't know it just it seems like when you get to like basically the end result of a trivia night like this 
is so someone can say, well, actually, and it sounds from like the, the, the sound of it, that that's what happened. It did also. I, I don't know. Did you approach the winners about coming on the show? Tom did. I handed them business cards. Have you heard from said, them? No. What a bunch of dicks. Because I think they overheard me talking about it. They probably cheated. Yeah. <laughs> or allegedly could possibly have cheated. There was ample opportunity. You know what? To be honest, a lot of teams could have cheated. We, and you guys We didn't. can honestly say we did not, did not cheat. And I applaud that. Good job. I mean, if we did, and there were cash prizes. Getting getting about well, cash, about four prizes. questions wrong. Wait, what, what, what were the prizes? Like gift certificates? It was like a Yuzu? fifty dollar gift certificate to Yuzu, mm -hmm. hmm. which is their food is really delicious. Hmm. Good, good stuff. So. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, is that about all? What is that all? Which we, part that that there that was the um, no look the prize or what no, is it? Is that a problem? Maybe. What, what do you mean? Maybe it is or it isn't. Like, what, what kind of answer is that? It was actually. What are you, the, the James Dean of this podcast? Maybe the, <laughs> the prize was. Uh, <laughs> Pete just put a leather jacket on and and <laughs> and uh, started smoking. Put his wife on the back seat of his uh, <laughs> motorcycle and um, I don't know. No, the prize was actually I don't know James Dean, the whatever he did. Exactly, and, and he died. That's it. <laughs> and he, uh, sorry. Never mind. You're never going to know the real prize. I really want to know what the prize is. The explanation of how Bender's chest cavity works. <laughs> God, damn it! Yeah, it was a full like uh, documentary style. They had blueprints and everything. Um, oh, we need to track down those nerds now. Uh, so is that all we we really need to talk well, about if, this for? Is there... I mean, if anybody is listening to this and knows the people that won the Slurm or the uh, Futurama trivia. Come on here and let's do it again. Peak, we'll peak, write, peak we'll write the questions <laughs> and the answers, and we'll see who wins in that case. We'll even put some women on our team. How about that? Why did you say that? <laughs> Why didn't you just leave well enough alone? What does that remember, mean, we'll put women on our team? Remember when we said something about ending your <laughs> thought like a about, sentence before? About, about when I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> no, I was just I was just doing a callback to being uh, an awkward talker earlier in the show. Maybe that's a no, Pete that's answer. Not, not, uh, <laughs> I guess so. Hey, if you I, got I have a problem uh, with that, if you got hate mail to send us, we can be emailed at slurmcastpod at gmail dot com. Uh, we have a website with all of our episodes, including this bonus content. At slurmcast.com. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter and Instagram at Slurmcast Pod. We have a phone number where you can call and leave us hate voicemails and text us hate texts at 216-438-1077. Um, to be fair, I had nothing to do with any of that conversation. So <laughs> yeah, Tom was Tom was standing in the wings. Trying to not. You take can send a side. me love messages at two one six four three eight ten seventy seven. Yep. Oh, brother. You anyway. can also find me uh, on uh, season three, episode five of uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, which just came out. Oh, take, take a look for that. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Again, because she's a woman and females are strong as hell. Guys, here comes the theme music. We better stop. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to neuter and spay your pets. I already stopped the uh, recording. <laughs>